Welcome. Unfortunately, it's not the gospel or the good news that I have for you. It is the news that at least 132 civilians have been killed in Burkina Faso's worst attack in years. Bearing in mind there was a pretty severe one in 2019 at the end of the year. So the death toll from the worst militant attack in Burkina Faso in recent years has risen to 132, the government said on Saturday, after armed assailants laid siege overnight to a village in the jihadist plague northeast. The attackers struck during the night, which is always the mark of bravery, um, killing residents of the village of Solhan in Yaka province, uh, bordering Ni uh, Niger. They also burned homes and the market, uh, said the government in a statement. So it declared that a 72-hour period of national mourning um, is in effect, describing the attackers as terrorists, quite rightly, although no group has yet claimed responsibility. Another 40 residents were wounded, said the government spokesman, Useni Tambura, um, in later, he later told reporters. The UN said that Secretary General Antonio Guterres was outraged by the attack, whose victims included seven children. So despite the presence of thousands of UN peacekeepers, attacks by jihadists linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State in West Africa's uh, Sahel region, which I spoke about last week only, have risen sharply since the start of the year, particularly in Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger, with civilians uh, bearing the blunt, quite frankly. The violence in Burkina Faso has displaced more than... Are you ready for this? No, seriously. It has displaced more than 1.14 million people in just over two years. So whilst the, um, while the poor and, uh, you know, while the country is hosting some 20,000 refugees already from neighbouring Mali, uh, in March attackers killed 137 people in coordinated raids on villages in southwestern Niger. So as you can appreciate... Um, this area is under siege, basically, in effect. Um, they say it's one of the worst, uh, you know, raids or attacks in recent years. However, we see in March a very similar number of people uh, were killed. So what I would ask, please, is to pray for Burkina Faso, for the Christians there, for those who, whatever their faith, are trying to live in some kind of harmony and are being plagued by Islamic State and Al-Qaeda and an as yet unidentified terrorist group which has caused, you know, which has perpetrated these atrocities on the innocent civilians of the area. Um, yes, but prayer is so very important. Please don't forget. If you think to yourself, yes, Kay, I will do that. Um, you know, once your head hits the pillow, uh, you know, when you wake up in the morning, whenever you are praying, you know, make yourself a mental note or just write it on a piece of paper, stick it next to the bed. Um, that would be lovely because it, that, it is invaluable, the prayers of the faithful um, for these people. And when one suffers, we all suffer. So any Christians in that region who've lost their lives, any Christians who are living in fear, we need to be there for them as they will be there or would be there for us uh, as and when we require it. So, yeah, sorry it's not uh, not the good news of, of uh, you know, Christ's victory over death um, and the wages of sin. However, God bless those people. And, um, yeah, let's let's start let's start using the Internet in a in a positive and spiritually edifying way and raising awareness of these stories, because I don't you know, I hate. I can't stand, I can't bear the thought that these people believe they are forgotten and unloved and unappreciated. So, um, yeah, please pray for them and I will see you soon. Also, please like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. More importantly, please share. Share these videos. If you don't feel comfortable sharing the videos, share the information. I will uh, give a description, a link um, to... Uh, I was going to say trusted, but the BBC also reported on it. But I, yeah, I will find a link that is um, trustworthy and that you won't be embarrassed to share around. And I will drop it in the comments, along with the Discord uh, invite, the link, along with the PayPal for Soko Films, along with the join button for membership to either my channel or to JC's. Um, 
yeah, keep it real, keep it Jesus, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.